blind energy reading quickies. Thank you for joining. Allow me in your experience participating this co-creating energy of oneness by listening live archives, requesting energy reading, and healing. Hope you are enjoying the new moments in the new year 2019. This is the second week of the new year, the calendar year. So today's focus I'd like to give is that recognize the new flow of this newness. Recognize the new flow of this newness. Starting with the weekly check-in conscious breathing exercise. To be in current here now. And as in the new flow we are creating, I am creating, that actually bring in um, new energy to deal with. Sometimes it perceived as in the challenges that create the unwanted energy. Because when doing something new, unknown, it takes a while to become familiar with. That's what a human system, and I literally experiencing that energy movement around me. In other words, it's called outer load brooks. <laughs> Absolutely being surrounded by outer load brooks. Um, but you know what? Everything is made of energy and there is Unfamiliar energy is asking us to manage in a new way, different way. So it's all about the opportunity to get into know about ourselves. How do we perceive what's coming towards us, in front of us? And these energy is asking us to use in a new way. The same energy to light up the dark room or execute the electric chair. So it's totally up to us to use the energy as an user. So what we can be manageable, managing the possibly effective way of our well-being is to give a focus on our own energy and what we can do to redirect in the energy as the way we like it, as the way we like it. So when we like it or not, never know until we do it, right? We face it. So here, I am asking you to support this transition for our community, actually the moving process, to move into a new platform. And actually, um, I was going to move into a YouTube and learn that the quality of the sound audio is not as um, good as I expected. So still searching for a better way to expand in a way that uh, more suitable for what we like to do as we've been doing. So check the description of this show, Archive Listeners. When you download, if you uh, automatically download into your apps, please go check the description of the show so that I update that link 
for you to catch up after talking, studying with this platform as usual, and then move into the, um, the new place. So that way we can uh, navigate our energy in a more ideal way. Thank you for your co-creation and co-operation and collaborating to create a community of oneness. Together we can be stronger. So to do so, I'm already talking nine minutes, and then here I have another five minutes. So let us do a conscious breathing exercises and a guided meditation. The quickest meditation that we can do whenever, whatever you uh, need uh, to get healed or to be in center to recapture in the sense of self here now together. How do we do that? As usual in taking all the air from the nose counting three and then let it out slowly from the mouth with no longer serving energy. All right and let our eyes open wide awake and notice what your eyes are noticing when you are totally engaging to the breath in taking and out all right let us take a long deep breath counting three one from the nose go two, three, hold it, hold it, and it is slowly from the mouth. One more time. Counting three, one from the nose, go two, three, hold it, hold it. The last one with the silence. In taking all the energy around you into your body, into your lungs, and bring it down to your stomach, and then keep it. Make it bigger as if you have a balloon inside of your trunk. And let that out slowly from no longer serving whatever, people, memories, event, the word, sense of self, let it out. Are you ready? Let's go. Thank you for taking the time for yourself. Conscious breathing exercise being current here now. This is June Universe at Ninja Intuitive 3 Minutes Blind Reading Quickies. So I have another five minutes here to talk about this week's podcast at Ninja Intuitive. 
I would like to take your intuitive reading and healing request as usual. Um, if you are interested in to have my energy reading without telling any of your personal information and personal story, keep your privacy private. And to just get the energy view, snapshot of what would be like, what's happening in the energetic view from my observing point of your energy component and the world around you. You can uh, request from the website www.thatfutureforecaster.com thatfutureforecaster.com and submit the form. How do you get that insight? Is that um, I've been providing the energy view over uh, 15 years and deliver as an insight for providing some choices and, and expanding your view and help you become more aware of what's happening. Just like a weather forecast, you know, it could be possibly windy with a little bit of shower, you know, so that you can get prepared when you are planning to go a particular place or something to do. Do and what kind of uh, clothing would be ideal to plan for in ahead of time so that you feel well prepared. So that's what it is. In particular situations like love life, relationship, or the work, career, or job situation, or perhaps the life path, you know, the spiritual path, like feels like unhappy lately and everything is going well but somehow feeding of lack of having something you know and unsure what it is it's perhaps to do with the spirituality that your spirit is getting your attention and your consciousness is uh, being alerted to get some new view and find out the possibility. Whatever that you are noticing, we are so intimate to ourselves. So sometimes it's nice to have someone else to take a look. If it's the physical body, we go see a doctor for a medical check, a nail check, or dentist to check all the, you know, um, environment to keep it healthy. Or if something is unhealthy part you're noticing, <coughs> and then make it healthier. So it's the same emotional, mental. You go see a counselor, therapist, healer, whatever. So that one of that can be a friend and um, family member or lover, and. How about the intuitive, like energy reader? That's what I do as an energy reading advisor. So um, to recognize what's happening in your experience. And if you feel what you get the information from me is non-resonating, that's fine. But still you can get one step closer to what you're looking for. So that's how the reading works. And if you're interested in, ask me some question at um, <coughs> email me at June Universe at June Universe now at gmail.com. You can get hold of me there too. So stay tuned for a new podcast that um, I am moving to the streaming on YouTube and post the link from the description. So please check the show description and follow me here for continuous talk about this week's focus. I'm going to give, uh, recognize the new flow, recognize the new flow. I see you there. Okay. Bye for now.